I'm Martin Archer from the Space and Atmospheric Physics Group at Imperial College London and we're here today at the Royal Society Summer Science Exhibition. We've put on this exhibition called the Aurora Explorer. It's all about uh, the 10th anniversary of the cluster mission which measures the magnetosphere. Uh, now, if you don't know what the magnetosphere is, it's our magnetic shield from the solar wind which is sort of wind of charged particles which streams at us at high speed from the sun. Now, if we didn't have this magnetic shield, we wouldn't be here. It's really deadly. So we really need to understand how it works, what goes on with it, and all the processes that are involved, because it's not actually a static shield, it's, and it's not impenetrable either. So this stand here at the Royal Society is really about telling the general public the work that we've been doing in measuring the magnetosphere in the cluster mission, which is a real collaborative thing. It's a really big mission that Imperial put forward the, uh, the magnetic measuring device. Uh, we've got people from UCL, Lancaster, Leicester, real big collaborative effort in the UK Space Agency uh, to show them the work we've been doing in the magnetosphere, to work out how it works, all the processes that are involved and the real buzzword at the moment in terms of the news is space weather, uh, how actually this affects our everyday life, how it can affect our technology, things like that. But we also want to get across why it's really important in the first place, why life exists because of the magnetosphere. So hopefully with this exhibit, we can show the general public you know, why magnetospheric science is actually really important. So we've got loads of stuff on the exhibit today. We've got this, the elastic band magnetosphere, where you can see some of the dynamics that go on in our magnetic shield. We've got these height charts here, so you can just see where everything is. There's cluster, there's the International Space Station. Uh, we've actually got the wreckage of the very first cluster mission. That one, uh, the actual Ariane rocket blew up. So we recovered that, we made it again the current ones in space. We've got some of this leftover instruments because you always have to make a spare. Um, this little thing here shows the importance of currents in the magnetosphere. And we've made this game as well to show you why you need four spacecraft so you can work out the shapes of things as well. And finally, the Planetarella uh, simulates the Aurora. Um, and if you look inside, you'll see a nice little purple glow. So as you can see, Aurora Explorer, there's lots going on here today.